In this exercise, I'm going to use the sample MEP project located in your common folder. So from the recent screen, click on open and browse to your common folder and open the file. The electrical panel consists of cable trays, conduits, parallel conduits, cable tray fittings, conduit fittings, electrical equipment, devices and lighting fixtures. You can see on the devices a little arrow just below the icon. Clicking on that gives me access to other types of electrical fixtures for communication, data, fire alarms, lighting, nurse call, security and telephones. Let's take a quick look at how these tools work. I'm going to scroll down in my project browser and open up level one power plan and zoom in to the north section of the building. Here we can see that there are already services shown with some ducts so that we can coordinate already. So let's start with the cable tray. Click on the cable tray tool and pick the relevant type from the properties type selector. Here I've selected ladder cable tray. From the options bar, check the width, the height, and the offset from your current level. Click on apply, and then draw your cable tray. Click modify to end the command. Conduits work in the same way. Click on the tool, Check the type of conduit you want to use. Check the diameter. It's offset from your current level. Click apply. And then draw your conduit run. As with pipes, I can also add parallel conduits. Click on the parallel conduit tool. Here we've got some options on whether we want the same bend radius or a concentric bend radius and the horizontal and vertical numbers of conduits. The horizontal and vertical spacings. And I can either select one conduit or use the tab key to select the run. Cable tray fittings such as bends, tees and reducers are available. Similarly, Conduit fittings are also available from this panel. If the required fitting isn't there, you can load the family from your library. Electrical equipment such as circuit breaker switchboards, transformers, and panel boards are either in your project already or can be loaded from your library. When selecting this tool, the contextual toolbar actually prompts you for placement. Here it's asking me to place on a vertical face, on a face or a work plane. So here I can place this on the face of the wall. This also applies for devices. I now want to open one of my lighting plans. Here I've got the light fixture tool. Clicking on here gives me access to the light fittings loaded into the project or from the library. I can select the type that I want to use. Either place it on a vertical face, place it on a face or a work plane. We will see the placement of these fixtures in a lot more detail elsewhere in the DVD.